welcome back. In the previous steps, we were able to query the data from the database and print it on the log. The thing which we made use of was JDBC template. But one question we didn't answer earlier was, how is the JDBC template getting auto-wired in? How is it knowing about the connection to the in-memory database? Where is the data source? And all that kind of stuff. In this short video, we would try and give you more information about how the whole thing is happening. The entire magic is due to Spring Boot auto configuration. If you go to your application.properties, it's in source main resources, application.properties, and you can type in logging.level.root. So I'm setting the root logging level of the application to debug and restart the entire app. So start and stop the application. Once you do that, you can search for your log, search in your log for configuration report. So I'm searching for auto space configuration or configuration report. So this is basically what I'm looking for. When you run the application in debug mode, you'd see a complete report of auto configuration. Auto configuration, as we discussed during Spring Boot section, is a very important feature which is present in Spring Boot. What Spring Boot does is it looks at what our classes are available on the class path and it would automatically configure things based on that. If he sees an in-memory database like H2 on the class path, what it does, it automatically configures a connection to it. If it sees a web application on the class path, what does it do? It configures a dispatcher servlet. If Spring Boot sees JPU on the class path, it would automatically configure a entity manager factory and a transaction manager. What I would recommend you to do is to look through this auto configuration report. You'd see a lot of information which is present in here. It also prints what did not match, what it wanted to try to auto configure, but it will also show you what did not really match. These are called negative matches. I would recommend you to put the application in debug mode, run it, look at the auto configuration report, and you would get much more understanding of what's happening in the background. What I've done is I've extracted some of the important stuff which is happening, and I've put it on our GitHub page for this section. If you go to the bottom of this specific page, below the code example, you'd see a little bit of notes on the auto configuration, which is related to JDBC template. What is happening here? We already looked at H2 console. The H2 console auto configuration is matching. It was configured. Why was it configured? Because it was looking for a web servlet. Once a web servlet class is present, then it would try and auto configure H2. There are other conditions as well. The other condition is to have this property in the property file. When we were enabling H2 console, if you remembered it well, then you would remember that we configured this property in application.properties. So at the top of application properties, we have the spring H2 console enabled is equal to true. H2 console is only auto configured when there is a class called web servlet, when H2 is in the class path, and when it's enabled. So on, only when the conditions are matching, the H2 console is auto configured. Similar to that, the data source auto configuration. So the data source is auto configured when there is a data source or a embedded database in the class path. We have a embedded database H2. So the data source is auto configured and using the data source, a JDBC template is auto configured as well. So what happens in the background is because there's an embedded database in the class path, a data source gets auto configured and also a JDBC template using that data source gets auto configured. This is all the magic which is happening in the background. If this is the first time you're looking at auto configuration, this might be a little confusing, but don't worry about it. As you play around with Spring Boot, you will be understanding auto configuration a lot more and you'll be able to figure out what's happening in the background. In this step, we took a small break from all our hands-on stuff and looked at what's happening in the background with auto configuration. We looked at how a JDBC template is being auto configured. 
until the next step bye bye